episode of Alex's Toy Show with, with Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. It's Dot Stove number 13. Been trying to keep up with um, the trades and the free agent signings and everything else that's going on in the baseball season. In the off season, though, baseball season's, you know, done. And uh, what we call the off season, we are amidst arbitration time. It's where the players and the teams get their, get their last minute chances to reconcile. A couple of big things happened this past week. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever the 14th was, <laughs> no concept of time, January 14th, 1954, Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe got married. That was, that was, uh, that was first prize right there. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys know who Marilyn Monroe is. Nobody opens a history book anymore. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe was was the the most hottest girl in the world at the time, and uh, they got married. It lasted less than a year, and and then that was that. And then Joe went back to playing baseball, <laughs> and uh, and he hit for a ton. Uh, what else? Um, so you know, happy anniversary to that. Left-handed pitcher Luis Arroyo dies at the age of 88 back on Wednesday last week also. He was the first Puerto Rican-born person <laughs> to play for the New York Yankees. He was a two-time All-Star, and he helped the, he actually helped the Yankees win in the 1961 World Series. Uh, in 1961, he was 5-5 five and five, uh, with 29 saves. 15-5, and five, I'm sorry, I can't read for shit. Uh, with 59 saves... It was 119 innings pitched, 65 relief appearances. He was an all-star rookie in 1955 with the St. Louis Cardinals. And through his career with eight seasons, he was 40 and 32 with 45 total saves and a 393 ERA. Uh, eight seasons with the Cardinals, Pirates, Cincinnati, and the Yankees. After his career, he scouted for the Yankees. And he was very popular at, at old-timers games. How about that? Uh, all right, so some other news. Uh, the Miami Marlins were very, very busy. They signed right-handed pitcher Edwin Jackson to a one-year $500,000 contract. He made 47 appearances with the Cubs and the Braves last year. Uh, he's got a career 262 starts, 340 games. He's 88-107 and win-loss record with a 458 ERA in te with 10 teams. Uh, they also signed infielder Chris Johnson to a one-year $500,000 contract. He was cut by Cleveland, but he's guaranteed $17 million over the next two years with a buyout for 2018, so I guess he's still making his money from Cleveland. Sure. Uh, they also signed, the Miami Marlins also signed left-handed pitcher Wayne Chen to a five-year $80 million contract. It's got nothing on the lottery last week. He's... Uh, He's age 30 last year. He's a, he was 11 and 8 with Baltimore, 334 ERA, 191 innings, 153 strikeouts. Uh, in 2014, he was 16 and 6 with Baltimore with a 354 ERA and 185 innings. So the guy can pitch clearly. Uh, Miami also signed second baseman D. Gordon to five years, 50 million dollar contract with a 14 million dollar six season. Oh, because it's a five-year... Okay, I see what I did here. I'm taking notes. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't read my notes. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Chris Hatcher. Uh, the Dodgers signed right-handed pitcher Chris Hatcher to a one-year, $1 million contract. Last year, he was 3-5 uh, and five with a 369 ERA for the Dodgers. Nationals signed catcher Wilson Ramos to a one-year, $5.5 million contract. Last year with the Nationals, he was 229. He batted 229 with 15 homers and 68 RBIs. Oakland Athletics. Finally, somebody said that I didn't do anything about. I never mentioned the o, the A's, right? The A's don't do anything. If I I said that the A's made a move, I would report it. Here you go, buddy. The A's made a move. They signed first baseman Yonder Alonso to a one-year, two and a half million dollar contract. Last year with Oakland, he batted 282, five home runs, and 31 RBIs. Go A's. 
<laughs> uh, the Yankees had traded Justin Wilson to uh, left-handed yeah. pitcher Justin Wilson to the, to the Tigers uh, earlier a couple weeks ago, and they reconciled a one-year, one and a half million dollar contract last year with with the Yankees. Justin pitched uh, five and zero oh with a three ten ERA in seventy four appearances. That's hot stuff. <laughs> Oh, I I think I need to go find myself some coffee. San Francisco Giants, they trade right-handed pitcher Cody Hall to the Diamondbacks for a player to be named later or cash. Last year, he was at AAA Sacramento. He was 1-3 with a 3.46 ERA in 43 relief appearances. The Dodgers, the Dodgers, wrong. The Padres signed right-handed pitcher Carlos Villanueva. Oh my goodness, Villanueva. To a one-year, one-and-a-half million dollar contract. The Phillies sign infielder Freddie Galvis to a one-year, two million dollar contract. The Detroit Tigers, back in action, sign outfielder John Mayberry Jr. to a minor league deal with an invite to spring training. The Royals uh, were a little active. They signed right-handed pitcher Ian Kennedy, former Yankee prospect. <laughs> you know, the Yankees gave up on a lot of people, and here they all are. Pitching like nobody's business. Right. Ian Kennedy picked up a two-year contract from the from the Royals, and the Royals also signed outfielder Lorenzo Cain for two years, seventeen and a half million dollars. Seattle Mariners signed first baseman Travis Ishikawa to a minor league deal. And the big news of the week: the Baltimore Orioles finally, finally signed Chris Davis to a seven million. Sorry, seven years, $161 million contract. Arbitration is coming up to an end. These guys need to get these contracts signed or else there's going to be a lot of people not doing anything next year. Look at, uh, or this year I should say, it's already 2016. And look at, look at the remaining free agents still. I mean, there's some big names out there. Let me get my list of free agents. Uh, Cespedes is still, is still out there. Tyler Clippard. Hopefully we get it all done this week. And next week we'll have some more happy news to report. Like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more. I'm going to get some breakfast and some coffee because uh, I'm still half asleep, I think. Peace.